sorry, who is this? Got something big here. Shit, should be getting paid for this. All I gotta say is fuck the scabs, V. I mean it. What sort of gongs take over a damn clinic? Fucking slime. That's what. Slimy ass scabs. Anyway, you know Anderson. Apparently he was in the clinic and had to make a deal with them so that the place could go back to biz. Either that or some miracle got him out. My money's on Anderson, though. Wonder what he promised to scum. Dunno, but now I'm like, gonna think twice before going over there. What if I gotta hand the scabs a kidney for getting a tooth out, huh? Shit, it's like all good, but not all good, you feel me? Ah, it's the guy who told me all about the different areas in Dogtown. He wasn't a bad guy. He was just incredibly pragmatic. <laughs> Anderson's a decent gym. Wouldn't make a deal like that. Yeah, you're probably right. Meaning, Hippocrates wouldn't make a deal like that, huh? Mm, maybe not quite like that either. Anywho, just asking around before I head over there. Gotta look up for numero uno, you know? Anywho, keep chilling like a villain. <laughs> Peace. Like a villain, huh? Mr. Hands, Bree Whitney's address. 18 Skyline West, 5th floor. Last door on the right. The cards in a safe box under a bamboo plant. Write to me, please, once you have it. You got it. Will this be marked on my thing? I know we did a few gigs, but I'm on a roll. Wait, you didn't actually mark it for me. How the hell am I going to find that place? Oh, it is on my map, but it's outside. It's outside of Dogtown, which is why I couldn't find it. But it is a Phantom Liberty quest. Go to Bree's apartment in Night City. Hmm... Interesting gig. A shit scared media, top secret investigation, corporal dirt, anonymous threats. What's that? Forget Merc work. Now you want to be Night City's top private eye? See, it is a Phantom Liberty thing, but... Interesting. Brie Whitney, a media for whom until recently writing for Scream Sheets was her bread and butter. But Brie always wanted something more from life. She finally stumbled across a serious story. And although it got red hot, she decided to not let it go. Now she's rummaging through corp closets for skeletons, a lucrative commodity in Night City that could either earn you stacks, or more commonly, a bullet to the head. Brie is paranoid and stressed, but that's hardly surprising given the circumstances. She knows what she wants and intends to achieve it, regardless of the price. She's secretive and careful with her words, saving them instead for her articles. Alright. A little bit interesting that it's so far, but we... We will... Well, let's get to her. Been a while since I've been back in the main Night City. Let's call up... Carrie. Seems like he's got some of the new dialogue as well. How's my chim doing? Hey there. Hey man. How's things with us, Cracks? Coming along? Yeah, just sent me a demo of theirs to check out. You know, that'll never be my world. But hey, I'm happy to add a little blood and chrome to their fake pop slice and dice. <laughs> Oh, wait, we have actual other stuff with him. How's Kovacek? Throw himself into the Del Coronado yet? <laughs> yeah, he will. I'm done with that dick wipe. Cutting that contract, tossing him out with a trash. Even if I gotta throw a few extra eds his way. Just what happens then? Um, what? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> what I like oh, to hear. Japan town, the casino. Everyone's saying he had a runner helping him. So... Bet you can't guess who the FIA's newest super secret super badass agent is. Ha! Huh, you yanking my chain, V? Wait, hold on. This isn't about my uh tax search, is it? <laughs> Remember the Space Force One crash in Dogtown? Rosalind Myers was on board. Me and this other FIA agent rescued her. Ah. Uh. I get a tingling in my ball sack when somebody lies to me. I don't feel that now. So, wait, what? You were in Dogtown, plane flew right over your head. Pretty much how it happened, yeah. Long story short, Myers is safe now. I've made some new chums. Got a heap of new problems too, I bet. Hey, NUSA Prez versus one of the greatest rocket boys ever. Who'd you put Eddie's on? Oh, I don't know about mm, that. Tough one, that. You've got global reach, fans in the thousands, 
And she's got a nuclear arsenal. If all goes well, FIA will help me out. You know, they got the means to patch up the old brain. Fix me up for good. Ah, so that's how the sneaky fuckers roped you in. You think I'm being used, and I'm letting it happen. Hey, if I was you, I'd try everything available, so I dig it. Just be careful with them. A in FIA stands for assholes, you know. <laughs> well, it was nice catching up with you, Carrie. If all goes Oops. well, wrong one. FIA will help me out. Ah, I can't skip it. You know they get weird them. oversight, huh? We can't fast forward the lines on the phone call. Tell you about it some other time, Care. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I just wanted to fill you in, that's all. You know what? Her little anarchic gesture back there. I kinda liked it. That was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, burning the boat, right? You're speaking of anarchy, how'd you get into this? This, uh, I mean. Asking you know. why I do what I do? Yeah. Why? Gets old, working a desk in perfectly climate-controlled conditions. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me you work for the post office, not a corp. Arasaka. You're kidding. Long story, but our paths diverged. We parted amicably. Sort of. I mean, respect. Johnny always said you only leave Arasaka feet first. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> All right, buddy. See you later. Take care. See you later. I enjoyed that there was actually some simulation of like a proper intersection and crosswalk there. You see, I was actually abiding by pedestrian rules, waiting for the light to turn and all that. That was kind of cool. Okay, enough of a diversion with Carrie. We are here for Bree, the journalist, who is deathly hmm? paranoid. That some big story she's breaking out is gonna, what, get her killed? When I read the street name, what was it, Skyline Street or whatever, I thought this was gonna be a fancy... mansion. Shot by both sides. Who you pissing off, Bree? Fifth floor? Mmm, can I not just knock? Pretty swanky pad for a media's pocket. Back in my day, the press lived in fucking roach closets. Lockups both ways. Oh yeah, there was something about a bamboo plant, right? The cards in a safe box under a bamboo plant. She won't even meet me because she's so paranoid. That's right. Hey, she's a Silverhand fan. Yikes! Bar disfigures little boy. It looked normal, said Marlena, 43, little Charlie's mother. I see all foods, pretty well-known corp, so I figured I could trust them. I couldn't have been more wrong. The tragedy in the Berryman family began one fateful Wednesday morning. Charlie was a little out of sorts that day, so Marlena decided to buy him a soy bar from the SCSM down the hall. I mean, normally I can't afford luxuries like that, she explained, but that day, I wanted to give my son a little treat. Unaware of the threat lurking within, she handed the yikes bar to Charlie. His first bite would be his last. All of a sudden, he starts crying. I had no idea what was going on, Marlena wailed. As it turned out, the All Foods bar's consistency broke little Charlie's tooth. I don't know what we're gonna do. We can't afford a new one. As I listened to her story, Charlie came over to us. I thought he died. Oh, tugged on Marlena's sleeve and despite the tragedy that befell him, showed nothing but gumption and spark. Mama, don't be sad. Next time we'll get a different brand's soy bar, he said before bravely revealing his new gap tooth grin. This is an article by Brie. <laughs> I thought he died. The way she wrote it. She does have some pretty interesting decor around here, huh? She likes. Is she a weeaboo? <laughs> she might be a weeaboo. Book your dream holiday with Warders. 
Tired? Want to leave your boring old routine behind? Now all you have to do is pack your bags and choose a destination of your dreams. Somalia, visit a sunny exotic resort featuring bottomless drinks and hovering deck chairs. Tycho, a paradise for those who seek adventure and frequent tours of the moon. The Crystal Palace, the definition of luxury travel featuring gourmet food, out-of-this-world casinos, and lush green villas with stunning vistas of the cosmos. Claim first-minute discounts and save up to 20%. Your future starts today. She's trying to get away. Magazines, dog-eared coffee stains, exotic travel from current year. She's trying to get away. Oh, there's a bamboo plant. Isn't it? Wait, that's not bamboo. Potted house plant. Hmm. What's this? Really, dickweed. That looked like a bamboo to you. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> no, it didn't, okay? I was just looking at it. Wine bottle and glass, fruity, floral, bouquet. Traces of red wine at the bottom, dry. She's been drinking a little bit. The art of self-control. Ten rules for becoming a better you. Have you ever left a party in tears after seeing your ex with some new arm candy? Have you ever agreed to do overtime just to please your overbearing manager? Does your mother still guilt trip you, even though you're over 30 and are old enough to have your own adult beauty collection, thank you very much? If so, then this book is for you. In the following chapters, you'll get helpful tips on how to act in stressful situations and keep the situation under control, even when it seems everything is stacked against you. You'll never let things get to you again, because you are in the driver's seat of your mind. She's paranoid, wants control. A suitcase has been packed. But it's here. So she hasn't gone yet. Oh, that's a bamboo. Dogtown. Bulletin board clippings. Most anticipated BD of the year from diverse media system to Brie. The brain dance we've all been waiting for, Natural Enquirer starring Eva Mingli. Sylvie, Eva Mingli, is a simple housewife who spends her days looking after her son, Brian Worth, and helping her investigative journalist husband, Ben, ZX, chase down his stories. But all that changes when she accidentally finds one of her husband's disturbing reports. Could Ben really have witnessed such macabre events? Sylvie goes on a wild search for the truth. Only one thing's for sure. Whoever they are, they catch to kill. Coming soon to BD! <laughs> if you're paranoid already, don't watch stuff like this. Vacation packages? Yeah, she's, she wants to leave ASAP. But she, her suitcase is still here, though. All foods bar right up. Hey, final articles in the attachment. Great, I'll put it in tomorrow's spread. Credit will arrive in a week. Was that the one about the kid's tooth? Border crossing. I've got some biz. Need to get to Dogtown. Hey, Bree. Great to hear from you, too. Yeah, I can figure something out. Get you in next month, most likely. Oh, she's using Dogtown to escape from Night City. Not an option. I need to be there like yesterday. It's not that simple. We've got lines, rules, procedures. I can't pull any gonk moves or they'll dump me on toilet duty. You know how it is. All right, manage to work something out with Gonzalez. He'll take my shift and I'll get you through the gate myself. Let me know when you're here. Hello? Wait, did she even take it then? He was gonna get you over. She's already gone. So what was that then? I thought that was the bamboo. Oh, that is that is also not bamboo. <laughs> Philodendron. Thank you, Johnny, for not being a smartass. I mean, that kind of did look like a bamboo from a distance, though. But it's a special one. Look, all the windows in her place are all locked up. She is so paranoid. Oh, well, well. That is a bamboo, hidden storage unit. Right, let's see what's here. Militech access card. No, oh, interesting. Fuck, scan that. Militech logo 2010s. Card's gotta be at least 60 years old. Didn't find that in a kabuki bargain bin. Makes me think, what's this Bree chick up to? Let's find out. Got the card. What now? Now you'll meet the client. I'm sending you some coordinates. An abandoned building in Dogtown, bottom floor. Go after dark and avoid calling attention to yourself, please. Alright, I got you. 
Meet with Bree in Dogtown? Wait. <laughs> Sounds safe, cozy. Can't wait. <laughs> Where is it in Dogtown? I don't even know where she wants to meet me in Dogtown. I actually don't know. Oh, because I gotta leave this place first. They won't tell me... the new location. Whoa! Hey, you're not Bree. I'm not. What are you doing here? Watering the bamboos. You? Standing in the doorway. Why the sass, kid? You Mike? I, uh, heard some noise. I thought maybe Bree was back. Been a while since I've seen her. I'm next door. Thought I should come take a look. Got some dodgy chooms hanging around the building lately. What sort of chooms? Dunno. Definitely don't live in the building. It looked kind of like small town gangoons. N not even. Yeah, just thugs. Getting a little bit dangerous, huh? What you looking at? What were you looking at just now? Just tell Bree to take care of herself, you hear? Are you Mike? Let's get that she has neighbors looking out for her. That's not a bad thing. I hope this door closes itself now. It won't. Okay, I guess I just gotta go. Thanks for your concern, I guess. Hmm. Didn't seem like a bad shroom. I'm surprised I didn't look suspicious to him, though. I feel like I did, but he just sort of let it go. Now, where in Dogtown do you want me to meet you? Oh my god, do we live in the same building? We live very close by. Take the elevator to the lower level. This isn't the lowest level yet. No? Okay. I noticed something strange when I was walking around here. Just wanted to show you. So I have this Nekomata equipped right now, right? And I have another Nekomata I picked up earlier. It's this one. So the one I'm rolling over, comparing the stats right now, look. This one is completely better than the one I have equipped in every single way possible. And I do mean every single way. Aside from the attachments and mods, just the basic stats, every single number is better. And yet, look at the price. For some reason, the one I have equipped is 9k, but the green one here, it's 6k, 7k. Huh, I wonder how that's generated. That value. Either way, this one seems like it's a better bet, so we should probably have this one equipped instead. And I'll just leave the attachments alone, I think. Maybe give a... Additional zoom, yeah? That's pretty much it though. I think we can sell this one. But do I have to like... Do I have to unequip all the attachments before I sell it? Is that even possible? It might not be. You can have a crappy attachment. Sure. <laughs> anyway. It's just called lower level. Do you live in the same apartment building as me, Bree? Or you escaped to the same apartment building as me? Lady? Grimy. Better look around. It's quiet here. Bree! Bree, Bree, Bree. That's how quiet it is here. Where are you? Are you here, girl? Hey, this is back to the place where we were leading Myers through. You want me to find Bree in this gigantic area? Really? What about the laptop? Yeah, last time we couldn't go through here. Oh, hold up. There's a magnifying glass thingy here.
shoe size 7, athletic. But they were... These are... Which way are these going? You want me to go down here? Because there's no footprints in there. We've been here already before. Guess we gotta follow. How does she expect me to find her? Like, th does she just think that, well, if you're good enough of a merc, you should be able to find me automatically. Oh, I know where. It's that door. Yes, it's that door I couldn't open before. Did you make this your hiding place? Hold it! Hey, chill! You hired me. Said to meet here. Supposed to come after dark. Oh, you get the card? Sorry. <sighs> sure did. But I'm not about to talk to the bad end of a barrel. Did you even think to flip the safety? <laughs> Clearly don't know how to use it. So stash your pop gun, please. Ah, shoot. Point for you. Sorry, but uh, you know, I can't trust anyone. That's fine. Great, give me the card. We'll go inside. Shouldn't remain in plain sight. Not overdoing it with the caution? I like the touch about the not having come here after dark. You even listening to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Because I completely forgot about that. Usually I rely on the whole sit on the bench and wait for them to okay. make it the right time thing. Let's see if this does the trick. As far as I know, nobody's been here in the last decade. Oh. And the system stayed back to 2013. Fingers crossed. <sighs> We're in. Some of the security measures might still be active, so you go first. You want to tell me anything? No, not going anywhere till you explain a few things. Oh. Didn't think I was paying you to ask questions, but okay. What do you want to know so badly? What was on that card? What are we doing here? What do you plan to find down here, exactly? Well, if the files I borrowed from Militech are up to date, the lab inside's teeming with secrets. I plan to learn them. New media once. He liked to dig up Megacorp dirt, too. Tried to expose some veterans aid scam, a glorified corp PR campaign. Max Jones, WNS. Any buzzers buzzing? WNS buzzer is. Don't know the man, but I envy him his job. Think his position's vacant now. What? Report didn't generate waves. Not like that. Max dropped it. I forced him to. Corp would have zeroed him for it. I see. Truly motivating tale, that. Thanks for sharing. Now go in. See if it's safe. Alright. Ooh. Production year 2013. Inactive. Surveillance camera is not on. Got turrets, but they're offline. Come on in. This is old tech. It's over 50 years old. Shit. Card's not working. Hang on. Let me see if there's another route. This way. Let's go. You know the layout of this place already? 50 year old disinfectant. I assume all is going according to our plan. Call when you're finished. A little busy now, but yeah, all good. We'll buzz when done. We've been lucky so far, but watch out. Can't know what these old systems will do. Actually, turrets like these operate in sequential circuits. Hacking one triggers a feedback loop that boots up others. So don't hack any of them. Go in. Well, this one's not inactive. We can just disarm them. What? Friendly motor disarm. Oh! Oh yeah, they just said. Because I don't know how to listen. 
<sighs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. They literally just said it. But the moment I got All in, I'm like, now. monkey brain. <sighs> well, at least we know the security is still up and running. <laughs> that was only a thing that I could have learned with 20 cool, too, or whatever the amount of cool needed was. <laughs> uh, oh, like, goldfish brain. Old device filled with coolant, toxic, highly flammable. Mercs first. Yeah, I'm checking out the other room. Don't you want to check out this room? There's a computer in here. That's not on. Oh, whoa, that's... That was kind of freaky. PC Site Zero Expedition Report from Evan McRae to Militech, Special Projects. We've set up at Site D. Oh, Site D, not Site Zero. And I've begun investigating the Come area. On. We don't have time. Noted, awaiting further reports. We reached Site C yesterday. We are attempting to enter the data fortresses. Everything is encrypted. If you and your team can't manage to decrypt them, perhaps we should send somebody else? Hmm? War? Natalia McRae to Evan McRae. Honey, in the news they're saying that there might be some military activity in South Pacifica. Sorry for bothering you. I know you're busy and hard at work, but I'm worried. Are you sure you're safe there? Everything's fine, sweetheart. Don't worry. We'll talk when I'm back. Militech to Evan. Urgent, immediate evacuation. The expedition is to be shut down immediately. It is no longer safe in South Pacifica. Do not exit the site of Militech uniforms. Wear civilian clothing. Take the data you managed to collect, encrypt everything else. We expect a report in person in three days. Understood? Hmm. Comp looks brand new. Just this one. Told you. A Militech research expedition came here a few years back. I probably left it behind. Cooling unit construction, the basics. Connect the compressor to the recuperator, connect the recuperator to the turbine, close the circuit, place in casing, refill coolant, perform test run, do not cover the vent, enter serial number in system. So this is something that needs coolant. Something with a lot of energy then. What are we thinking about here? Like a nuclear reactor or something? From Lisa. Send your uniform to be cleaned. Couldn't stand the stench the other day. Grab it once you're up and head down to the bunker right away. Think I found something. Hazmat suit. Come on, we don't have time. All right, lady, why don't you want to look at this room? Wow, I'm surprised we didn't get killed here. Was that it? That was it. Some weird stuff here already. Washroom. Clean up, please. I know we're not here to win a Swedish Academy Award for keeping our shit clean. I know we're all super important scientists at the top of our respective fields and that nobody wants to scrub a fucking toilet, but come the fuck on! We don't have cleaning staff here, and unless you feel like sticking to the floor every time you want to use a bathroom, please, please, please clean the toilet after you use it and wipe the floor, seriously. They told me I'd go fucking nuts sitting underground for months on end, but nobody said it was because I'd be stuck down here with a bunch of slobs. Here's the cleaning stuff. It does what it says on the label. You figure it out. Lisa. Is this a unisex bathroom? Uh, yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem, because guys are slobs. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. A lot of women's washrooms are really disgusting inside. Keep it moving. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just checking the place out. That's all. Wait. How come when I come here... Yeah, I was just looking at the place and it... Cleaning supplies. Various fluids, concentrates, soaps. 2070 expiration date. Does that mean this was more recent than everything else? Was there something above us? I'm looking at the minimap right now. There's like, oh, that must have been the footprints or something. All right. Uh, Come on, we don't. Have what do you think I'm doing? Time, lady, please. Is the same thing gonna happen again? With the turrets. Workbench. Disassembled and tested. Varied. Multi-purpose tools used to assemble and disassemble devices. Can you just... I wish you could be on friendly mode. 
immediately. Because if I turn this on, it's gonna attack me. But if I try turning off the mine, that's probably gonna mess things up too. We're okay? Let's go. Wait, what activated the turret earlier? The whole cascade thing? I'm just making sure we don't die because of the mines, all right? There's mines everywhere. Seriously. Your face. Stay They'll hit us. I'm not very good at this, am I? It's fine, it's fine. I'm built for this. This is why I'm a merc. I, I've got lots of HP. They're all friendly now. In case if somebody tries to get at us later. We should have turned off the cameras. But the cameras are nice for looking around, so I don't prefer turning them off. Yeah, that increases my engineering sk Okay. That's just the... I accidentally dashed. <laughs> Somehow I'm still alive, so that's good, that's good, but I... Man, what does this lady think of me? I'm like a doofus. <laughs> Grade A doofus, can't even do anything right. Maybe let's do this from a distance. Yeah, alright. Mike Penny. Thank you, thank you for the compliments. Mike Penny, note. June 12, 2014, one year after the tech was created. I can't believe the entire cooling system used to be broken up into several parts. Now that I think about it, soon we should be able to pack the core itself into the heat exchanger housing. If we could do something like core to control rods to fuel, to close coolant flow in a single 2x1 casing with a recuperator, turbine, compressor, steam generator, we could pack hundreds of reactors in a relatively small space. Maybe connected by one large circuit? We'll have to try it sometime. Keep it up. That's still sounding like some kind of a uh, nuclear reactor. Oh wow, this is old computer. <sighs> We're almost there. Urgent site closure. Sinosure site? Project Sinosure Site D. We know how difficult the past few months have been, especially after the emergency situation at Site C and the problems it created. As you may have noticed, we've already had to let some of you go. We know you must have questions, but they'll have to wait for the time being. Site D will be shut down on Come June 13, on. 2017. Have you have two days to collect your things and return any equipment. All data should be encrypted. All the best. Confirmation for transaction, ticket ride, ticket ride to Hank. Going to Johnny Silverhand Solo. <laughs> oh wow, that's how long ago this was. Shipment confirmation, Hank to Marcus. Please confirm the following shipment. 38 heat exchangers. Reloading station D to main site C. Hey Hank. Yep, we'll grab them Wednesday morning. Take care. Important reminder, workplace safety. Mike. This is a reminder to all employees about the safety procedures in the lab. Always wear a coat, gloves and mask. No net connected devices within 6 feet of the safety zone. No exceptions. Come on. We don't the have final time. shift closes all valves. Not just the ones in the control room. Check the fluid levels in the heat exchangers and balance them immediately. I don't want any more instances of people checking it off the list when they haven't actually done it. No using implants or other distracting tech for non-work purposes. 2013, people shouldn't... The tech shouldn't be that advanced yet. Maybe it's some net running thing too. Hey, Johnny fan. Raw puppets. Research results. Mike? Hello all. As you know, for the past few months, I've been attempting to house the core and cooling system in a single element. At the moment, the cooling schedule, system you know? takes up too much space. However, the concept itself seems promising. If any of you have an idea on how to decrease the size of the generator without reducing the level of heat transfer, please stop by my office. Daria to Mike. Hey Mike, I think I've got a design. I'll let you know. Bodan to Darna. Uh, a couple? Siblings? Your mother's asking where you're gonna come see us. It's been six months. You're always working. Visit us sometime. Dad, I'm working. This is my work email. I can't have private conversations here. You were only supposed to use it in an emergency. I'll call when I'm done with our research here. Love you. That's what I thought. You wouldn't always be sitting in that bunker if you had a normal job. 
Yulia's working come for on. Militech, too. Have time. But somehow she still has time for us. You need to come out of that hole sometimes. We love you, too. Donetsko. Hmm, people come here, they work here, they don't leave. They just stay down here forever. These are all different cubicles. Pantry? Shift schedule. March 2014. Heat exchanger fluid level control. Don't sit and stare at the housing. This is just background work. Gaze trackers will not count time spent watching the heat exchangers as working time. Gaze trackers in 2013? 2014? Oh my god. If the level is incorrect, fix it right away. Then check it off the chart. What are they doing here? We good? Can't have bad luck all the time. We made it. The mainframe. The host. We're in the mainframe. Unbelievable. There's even files from the third corporate war here. Yeah. Militech was tap dancing on its tits trying to keep Sokka from pushing him off the stage. <sighs> Shit. The oldest ones are encrypted. But wait. There's some newer footage. Dated 2068. Must be when they came back. Come here. Take a look. September 25th, 68. Yeah. Okay, it's recording. Senior Research Specialist Evan McRae, this is day three of our expedition. We've moved some equipment to the bunker. The old rail system remains largely functional. They might have used it to transport heat exchangers from the lab once upon a time. There is a mountain of old research here. I'll see if we can find a use for any of it. The bastards were trying to reopen the project. Initially, it was 2013 to 14. That's Mike's people, Mike Penny. And then the 68 is Evan McRoy. McRae? Halloween day. Well, Caesar managed to breach one of the data forts. He found fragments of some outdated code. Command controls for a weapon, perhaps? All we need now is an AI to merge its findings. Lisa will probe the black wall for any potential gateways. Huh? Oh, right. Uh, uh, day 39. Thanks, thanks, Lisa. Hear that? They wanted to breach the black wall. Wow. Myers would like to know about this. Day 50, 5 -0. We received orders from HQ to shut down and return home. Uh, they say we're not safe here anymore. Caesar's packed us. We await Lisa's return. The poor thing's been in the bunker for two days. Jacked in. Or is it three? She... She just won't come out. She's trying to download the data from the fortresses, but... Uh, we can't hope to take it with us if she does. Now that's it. I'm gonna get her, Caesar. And then they love it. This is bigger than I thought. Militech using some rogue AI to augment their old weaponry? This is huge. Yeah. Militech and some secret weapon. Street's been saying it for ages. Usually between worlds ending on Tuesday and Bart Moss is hibernating in a fridge. Look, if it mattered, would have been old news years ago. Kidding me? You hear about Soul Killer? Now imagine a similar project, only Militech's pushing the buttons. These things change the world. And not for the better. At least not for people like us. When that happened, they came here in 68. That was nearly 10 years ago. Like other peeps haven't tried to contact Blackwall AIs. Failing to see the big break there. Look, Voodoo Boy's poking at the Blackwall is one thing. 
but one of the world's most powerful megacorps weaponizing a wild AI? Infinitely worse. When people learn Netwatch is busy hunting ordinary Joes while giving the megacorps free reign, imagine the outcry. They won't be able to do anything about it, though. So we got it. Grab what you need. Let's Delta. Dante! Buta! What? Howdy, Bree. Wait, who the hell is this guy? Dante Caruso, Militech special agent. That's the neighbor! Class, mind you. Give it a rest, Bree. How's it you're here? Knew Bree was hiding in the area. Knew you had something to do with it. Just had to watch and wait. <sighs> Thanks, kid. Hope you're not about to start defending her. Must have filled your head with all sorts of horse shit. Said people like you were after her. We're gonna kill her. Hired me to keep that from happening. Oh, Pilgrim. She told you she was a media, right? Yeah. Only journalism she's ever done was to write articles where you can muck at our competition. Your Militech? Ah. Can see those gears churning now. Yeah. Three words for Militech. That true? Yes. Took the gigs because that meant I got access to their archives. You gotta believe me. He knows I'm close. He wants to stop me. Another failure to communicate. You don't know my mind. But I sure as hell know yours, Bree. A flag in the winds, what you are. Whose pocket are you in right now? Arasaka? Netwatch? That quant you were pulling intel from. Caesar Maharez. You know they zeroed him, right? What's he talking about? Can't you see he's threatening me? Militech murdered the scientist, now they're trying to murder me. I gotta get this story out, where they'll kill everyone on the project, one by one. Wrong. It's because of you, Maharez got wiped. And what for, huh? The Eddies? Sorry, Bree. Stop him, V! Lab ain't big enough for the both of us. You gave me no choice. Okay, he pulled out his gun. I... what was he gonna... Uh, I felt like he might have been aiming at something else at the last minute there. I don't know, but if you're gonna pull out a gun, expect that I'll immediately fight back. He did put a little doubt in my mind, but I don't think enough. Well, I took a job. I took a job, so don't give me anything else. October 1070. Kevin Staff, former Militech employee, set up Agent Davis in the afterlife. I'm by his apartment. He hasn't left for three days. Rain's coming down hard, maybe that's why? 11.07 a.m. Group enters, 6 to 8 people. Four minutes later, they leave. Doors locked, can't break it down to do. Check door security system. Next day, I open his door at 3 a.m. 3 p.m. I managed to open the door. Found Kevin tied to a chair, unconscious. I untied him. Two minutes later, he's alive. High-class apartment, but run down, abandoned, wilted plants. Clearly wasn't living here. List of clubs on desk, he was in the afterlife that night. 3.40 p.m., Kevin regains consciousness. Doesn't want to give names. Admits he was in the club, but he's under their protection. Why? Another corp might want intel from him. Maybe he's a hostage? 4.01, single shot to the head. Couldn't let him walk. Next day? 11 p.m., I enter the afterlife. 10 minutes later, got two tequilas, put it on my employee account. Mac asks if it was really necessary to shoot the guy. Question mark, question mark, question mark. 2 a.m. Four times drink. Maybe it was unclear. Radio receiver. Broken. All reliable. Hmm. I'll give it a go. Anything special about it? Maybe not. I wonder if he was gonna say more. Come on out. Anything else you want to tell me? Thanks, V. I mean it. What he was saying? Any truth to it? Really? The man who just tried to kill us? You give a damn what he thinks. 
Yeah, I wrote some pulp garbage sponsored articles. Rent doesn't pay itself. Thing is, at some point you wake up and you realize you live in a dump and your life's a waste. And, well, I did it. Changed my life. Didn't know I had it in me, but here I am. Same as me then. Know how you feel. Also left the corp behind. Wasn't easy, but it gets better. I promise. Yeah, counting on it. Anyway, I'll finally be working for number one. Think I'll take a long vacation first, though. You know, in case some suit decides to trail me again. Really helped me out, V. You go ahead. I'll grab the rest of the files myself. I'm just wondering if it really is this straightforward. Well, she's my client, so I guess, I mean, technically, do I really have to care about who's right, who's wrong? I'm being hired here, so technically, I could just do whatever the person who hired me says. Got a tight schedule, you know? Okay, you have fun with the data, I guess. The shard we picked up from Dante... Oh, neighbor, huh? When, I, when we saw him in the building, I was like, huh, how come this, this neighbor looks so handsome? <laughs> Hmm, the shard seemed like he regretted things a little bit. He regretted killing the guy he was following for whatever reason. But I guess that doesn't really have much to do with our current case. Farewell, I suppose. Militech. But is she just gonna... Is she gonna break the story out? To the public? Or... Is she going to use the files for some nefarious purposes? We don't know that. The client's pleased. Transferring your funds. Client's happy, I'm happy. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I suppose so. I suppose so. What else can you ask for? Client's happy. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. With that, I think that would be... Well, there might be new gigs and side jobs that pop up later, but we've... <laughs> I think we've exhausted what's available for the moment. Yeah, within within Dogtown. Mm-hmm. Why don't we visit our hideout a little bit? It's been a long time. Here's some violent things going on already. Who is spending so much time fighting? Who's fighting? So this new gun, this revolver, is it even any good? The other ones seem crazy powerful. That's why we only got two shots. Anybody around here? Oh. Arvin the Cord Redefined. Ever since Mayor Ryan declared Pacifica an independent district, I keep wondering what it really means and what will the long-term ramifications of that decision be. Will it result in a small-scale war? 2070's Arvin Accord clearly defined Night City as free and autonomous, a result of Ryan's efforts and political savvy. But as soon as the dust has settled, the mayor realized that some of the land he so valiantly fought for may be nothing more than dead weight as far as NC's welfare is concerned. Dropping Pacifica from the administrative boundaries from the free city of Night City has been a drawn-out process, since long-term action is always easier to digest by the public, but in reality, the district hasn't been considered a part of the city for a long time, by NC residents and even the NCPD, which withdrew from Pacifica years ago. But the official split came only when he needed to boost his support by massaging the crime stats. So where did Pacifica find itself after the end of the Unification War? The Arvin Accord did not end the war, but simply moved it elsewhere without designating clear winners or losers, or appeasing the ambitions of anyone involved. This is why a large independent district neighboring Night City would be a great catch for anyone vying for influence over the metropolis. The ambiguity of borders described in the Accord makes Pacifica a perfect location for everyone working in the shadows, and any kind of operations would not necessarily lead to breaking the 2070 treaty, but rather its creative reinterpretation. All the stuff about Pacifica applies to Dogtown as well. Okay, what do we got? Judging by the architectural design, it should supply water to all floors of the building. 
Yes, is that a problem? It's been severed. So there's no water? Oh, this door has been open the whole time. Oh? Seems functional. Pipes seem badlands dry. I wonder where they lead. Later, later. Where does this lead? It leads to... The water, the bucket. 2062, empty, unused for a long time. The hydro four has been cut off from the main water source. Traces of water suggest an alternative water supply. Is that it? It goes to the bucket? Oh, I wonder if we were supposed to see this much earlier, but I just some somehow completely missed it. Huh. Well, no water. Either way. There's electricity here, that's pretty good already. Damn, Dogtown is such a shithole. You can hear, like, people... Ah, oh, it's because there's a freaking supply drop here, that's why. Hey, man. Don't smoke. Smoking's bad for you. Let's go, Johnny. Yeah, there's stuff happening in there. None of my business, but damn, they are... Making it hard for me to live around here. Has anything changed at all? Oh? Homemade water pump. Oh. A master cylinder. <laughs> Someone wanted to connect water to the upper floor. Let's finish the job. So it works now? Does that mean... Wait, do you want me to go upstairs? Do we have to fix this upstairs? Oh, I'll check it out when I leave the place then. Okay. Anything we want to look at here? New vehicles for purchase! Yes, yes, you mentioned it to me already. Thank you, thank you. Now the stash, my stash is, uh, where is my stash again? Here we go. Same as before, I can't pick up. Yeah, like whatever the other stuff for the other quest, I guess I just can't pick it up. I'm gonna take out some of these crappy guns because I can sell them. But I should probably put some of this back in too, because I've got way too many now. I'm not gonna be able to use all of them. I like the hawk. So we'll keep that. Man, I really don't have time. I haven't had time to try out all these guns. But we should try- Oh, the Roscoe was one that I was interested in. Yeah, shoot an enemy in the leg and then in the head. Neutralize them on the spot. Which means my whole problem with the how- How the headshots don't necessarily kill people. That won't be a problem if I can pull this move off. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Alright. Oh, it's gone quieter now, finally. Your water pipe business? Garbage shoot. For body disposal. Alright. Is there any higher floor we can... No, that was it. We just fixed the water thing. That was it. Okay. Sure. Sure. 